Thanks for coming with me to the doctor, Morphle, even though it might be a little boring. Morphle like doctor. That's good to hear. Now, if you could take a seat right here. Is your sight better or worse? Worse. And now? Better. And now? It's the same. All done. Morpho want to test too. All right, then. How well can you see, Morpho? No good. And now? Uh... How about now? Yeah, yeah. Morpho see good. As I expected. I'll print out the results for you. Be sure not to mix them up, Morpho. Ooh. Bye-bye. Hey, wait up, Morpho. See you next time, Doctor. Bye now. Now, let me see that test result of mine, Morpho. Oh, wow. It says here, I don't need glasses anymore. Now let me see your test, Morpho. Oh, dear. It looks like you need my glasses. Let's get them adjusted so they will fit you. Are you happy with your glasses, Morpho? Yeah, Morpho happy, but Morpho see bad. Me too, but I'm sure the doctor knows best. I think our eyes just need a little time to adjust. In the meantime, why don't we go play at the beach? Hmm, people are not very friendly today. Wow, it's a great day at the beach. These are the best waves I've ever seen. But all that surfing made me hungry. Let's get some ice cream. Refreshing. Mmm. Let me see if it's time to pick up Mila from school. I think we still have time to feed the magic pets back at the store, Morphle. I think it's time we call your dad. I can't believe they forgot about me. I need to feed Brother Time. Could you hand me that magic pet food, Morphle? What are you doing? Are you blind? Far from it. We just had our eyes checked, Police Officer Freeze. I'm not Police Officer Freeze. I'm Zookeeper Kenneth. You can it! Anyway, Morphle needs glasses now, and I don't. Hey! See? You need glasses, and Morphle doesn't. Hey! This isn't the magic pet shop. Oh, no. We must have mixed up the test results. And look at the time. We need to pick up Mila from school, Morphle. Oh, Mila! Those guys. I'm glad they have Mila who can keep an eye on them. Okay, this one should go. Morpho, morph into a logging machine. Cut that tree, Morpho. Yesterday's big storm pulled out many trees. If trees aren't rooted properly, they can just fall down all of a sudden. And that can be very dangerous. <laughs> Morpho loves cutting down trees. Oh no, look! Tumbling tail. 
test tubes. Are you okay, Professor Rashid? This is my latest invention. Everything I zap with it becomes very big or very small. Ah, great! Cut way too many trees. My beautiful forest is gone. Where are the forest animals going to live now? It will take years for these trees to grow back. Muffle, shall we? Wait, I have an idea. Professor Rashid, can we borrow your invention? Officer Freeze. <sighs> what are you doing here so early? I couldn't wait to pick you up. Let's go. What? Where, where, where are you taking me now? I'm taking Mila to jail. This isn't even a real ticket. Hmm, I really wouldn't want to stay here for a long time. More for happy policemen, more! Shoo! Shoo, I say! Get out of my front yard! What are you doing here, Morphle? What? What are you doing? You very mean to birdies! Morphle, police car, take you to jail! You can't just take people to jail, Morphle! Oh, no! What? <laughs> that was pretty funny. Oh, man! <laughs> oh, that's great! <laughs> huh? Where have all my tires gone? What? A ticket for littering? Can't be on the grass in the park? Why, I ought to... Muffle, why you did it? Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. Kids these days. <laughs> That's great. Just great. That was great. <laughs> and you'll always remember... To, to stay, stay out, out of jail. jail. Huh? Morphle? Mila! You're now in jail? <laughs> no, 
I was never in jail. Police Officer Freeze gave me a tour of the station. Oh! Morpho want to free me, la. And Morpho take fan to boost the jail. What? Oh, no. You can't just take people to jail, Morpho. <laughs> I had a great time with our little red fin. Huh? <laughs> oh, Morpho. I want to play train driver. Morph into a train. Let's drive the train all across town. Uncle Wilfert. My, my car broke down. Now I can't go on my photo safari and take pictures of all the animals. But Uncle Wilfert, you can come along with us. We can bring you everywhere you want to go. Oh, thank you, Mila and Borfo. Where do you want to go next? Hmm, what about the sea? are going to turn out amazing! <laughs> yeah! Give it back! Please give it back, monkey! Monkey has the same hobby as I do. Hmm, I have an idea. We're still missing one picture. A group picture of all of us. Would you take a picture of us, Monkey? Joe are wrecking the city. 
Why would they do that? Not in my city. Zap him with the Hypno Ray, Yorn. Follow us. Yes, sir. Morphle, morph into a giant robot. Stop Lawrence and Joe from wrecking the city, Morphle. <laughs> no, Morpha. Help them wreck the city. Okay, Mr. Bandit. Oh, no. Morphle turns evil. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> because of this hypno ray, everybody will have to do what we say. But how can we stop them when Morphle doesn't do what you say? <sighs> okay, here we go, Bandit Yorn. I'm sure it will work, Stein. Mom! There are two people here that want to tell you something. Ugh, if it isn't my good-for-nothing sons, I don't have time for the two of you right now. The president isn't going to blackmail himself. Tell her, tell her. Your sons are the greatest baddies that I have ever seen in my city. They are truly bad baddies. What are you talking about? My sons have never been real baddies, and now they've even brought a cop to my house. Why, I, you two are even worse baddies than I thought. But... Mom, <laughs> tell us that we are great baddies. Yes, tell us you are proud of us. Stop it, bandits. Why should we? You are just a little girl without your red blob. Everybody, grab them. Huh? Why are these people following your orders? Did you hypnotize them? People shouldn't do what you say because you force them. They should do what you say because they agree with you. And for wrecking the city, you two are going to jail. My sons are getting arrested? Yes, Mom. We get arrested all the time. Oh, boys. The two of you are real baddies after all. <laughs> I'm so proud of you guys. Did you hear that, Stein? Yes, I did, Yorn. Yes, I did. The city looks perfect again, but come on, guys. It's time for bed now. No, Daddy. We don't want to go to bed. And you should only do what people say if you agree with them. <laughs> That's true. But little kids do what their daddies say. <laughs> Just daddies? And mommies. And school teachers. And the police officer. And grandmas and grandpas. It's really strange. Teacher Arnold hasn't come back after break. Yay, let's go! <laughs> no, Morphle. Let's go find him. Morph into a race car. Look! Oh, no! It's Arnold. What happened? Don't worry, we'll find a way 
to get you out of there. Yeah! <laughs> Maybe. Look, there's Mr. Vandergoose. <laughs> huh. Daddy! <gasps> Daddy! We'll get you out. Just wait a bit longer. <laughs> okay, that way, Morphle. We've almost got him, Yon. Yeah. Bandit! We need to help Atmo. Morphle, morph rockets to the car. Almost. Gotcha. You did it, Stein. Wow! It was Atmo that froze Daddy and the rest. It has a cold. Atmo, here! You need to go to the doctor, Atmo. He can help you get better. Morphle, morph into an ambulance. Whoa, what's going on? Atmo has a cold, and when he sneezes, he freezes everything in front of him. Hmm, I think I have some medicine just for that. Whoa! Uh-oh. Um, we'll just need to find the right medicine. Is it this one? Mm -mm. Okay, how about this one? Mm -hmm. How about this one? Mm -hmm. No, uh, this. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one? Mm -hmm. No? <sighs> well, there is only one bottle left. Mm -hmm. Do you think you can make the sun shine again so that all the ice melts again? Again, I knew you three could solve this problem. Whew, now let's go home. Whew, I could use a hot chocolate. Yeah, chocolate! <laughs> uh, I think I caught a cold. Huh? Oh no! Huh? huh? <laughs> Join the painting competition. The most special painting wins an amazing award. Morphle, morph into a magic paintbrush. Hmm, what do you think we should paint, Morphle? We have to come up with something very special. How about painting a flower? Hmm, not bad, Morphle. Perfect. I don't think flowers are special enough to win the award, Morphle. How about an animal? <laughs> Be 
beautiful, aren't they? Hmm, still not special enough. Come, Morpho. We have to find something very interesting. Our painting has to be the most special of them all. <laughs> no, Morpho. It has to be extraordinarily special. Hmm. I know. Morpho, morph into a rocket. Oh, no. What are they going to paint up there? <gasps> wow! Amazing! Ooh! Wow! Ladies and gentlemen, this year, we have two winners of the award. And now it's time to reveal their work. Here we have winner number one. And this is winner number two. <laughs> What is all that noise? Oh, hello, Mr. Vanderboos. We're building a tree house. It's going to be our clubhouse. A clubhouse? In a tree? What nonsense. Besides, building a tree house is really difficult. There's no way you can do that. I think we can do it, Mr. Vanderboos. You'll see. Huh. Now. First, we need to make sure all the planks are the right lengths. Hmm, I don't think scissors are going to be strong enough. Morpho, morph into a saw. Now let's put them together. <laughs> Look at these amateurs, Barky. I think we need some nails for that. Morpho, morph into a hammer. That looks nothing like a tree house. It hasn't even got a roof. Well, that is not half bad, I suppose. And now, let's turn it into a real tree house. Morpho, morph into a... Crane! Crane? Yeah! Crane! Crane, crane, crane! Whee! Woohoo! <laughs> well, well, well. Look at that, Barney. It's actually a decent tree house. Halt! What is the password? Uh, I'm Morpho now now. <laughs> the password is Morpho. Morpho. Whee! Yay! <laughs> Yay! That is the most beautiful tree house. I have ever seen. Come on, Morpho. Let's go get April and Troy and have a party in our new clubhouse. What's the password? Huh? The password is Morpho. Wrong. That's the password for your club. If you don't know the password for my club, well, you can't enter. Hmm. Well, then our club will have a picnic on the grass instead of a party in the clubhouse. Hey 
there, Barky. Do you want to join our club? Um, can I... Can I join your club, too? Of course, Mr. Vanderboos. That's great! Then why don't we have a party in our clubhouse? <laughs> <laughs> 